This intro will have nothing to do with fragrances, but I want to ask you guys, are you watching Attack on Titan? Go to this time point if you want to avoid spoilers. I cannot wait for today's episode. Last week, my man Aaron really picked up the Warhammer Titan and he said, Es hora de comer. Guys, this is one of our most important videos to date. Today, we're going to answer the question, how many fragrances does a man need? A lot of you guys sent in your collections to me to review, and it's surprisingly common to see a lot of people have maybe three or four date night fragrances or two summer fragrances and one clubbing scent. I mean, I remember my first few fragrances were CK Euphoria and Hugo Boss Unlimited. I had no idea what each fragrance was designed for. I simply just picked up whatever I thought smelled good. In my opinion, in every fragrance collection, everybody should have five essential categories of fragrances to start off with. Those categories will be something versatile, something for a date night, something for school or the office, something for summer, and then finally, something for clubbing or partying. For each category, if you're into blind buying, I will give you two safe options to go for. An affordable option and a more pricey option. This is gonna be a good one, guys. Class is in session. When starting off your collection, it makes sense that your first fragrance is something versatile. So this will be what people say is your signature fragrance, something you wear day in and day out to work, to school, dates, going out with friends. Ideally, these types of fragrances should be mass appealing, long lasting, and should get you compliments. An affordable safe option here is Mont Blanc Explorer. This is the best Creed Aventus clone, in my opinion, in the 20 to 30 pound range. It's a smoky citrus fragrance that focuses less on the pineapple like Aventus does. It's inoffensive and lasts at least six hours, so it has decent performance. If you want to spend a bit more, get Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. This is the safest blue fragrance out there. I think everyone should have a blue fragrance in their collection. These are the fragrances that make you smell fresh out of the shower. This has a nice balance of daytime notes mixed with evening notes. Notes, smells refined, gentlemanly, and I get at least eight hours with all the virgins. And then after that, I recommend you get a date night fragrance. You can wear your versatile option for dates, but these types of fragrances are more specialized for it. These have a softer projection and are more ideal for a romantic situation for close encounters. A cheap safe option is Zara's Rich Warm Addictive. On the rare occasion that Zara actually does have this fragrance in stock, this is one of their best. It's one of their few original creations, so it's not a clone fragrance. It's a really nice, romantic, and creamy coconut and tobacco scents. It's one of their better performing fragrances as well. I get about four to six hours of longevity with a soft projection, so you need to be close for this one to work. Or spend a bit more and get the legendary Dolce & Gabbana, the one eau de parfum. Basically the safest fragrance out there on the market today. It's very difficult to find anyone who hates this. It's a very balanced, sexy, and romantic fragrance that includes honey, ginger, tobacco, amber. It's masculine and alluring. It has limited performance as well. Five hours longevity with a soft projection, but it's one of the best in its genre. Then the third fragrance I recommend you buy is going to be your professional fragrance. So if you're younger, it'll be your school scent or it'll be your uni or work fragrance. These are the types of fragrances that are specialized for that smart environment where you wanna meet business, you wanna land that job or uni interview, or you wanna impress some important clients. A good cheap option is Burberry's Touch for Men. A clean pepper and musk fragrance this is very bright and professional. And I get eight hours longevity and it smells more expensive than its price tag, which is great about this fragrance. Or spend a bit more and get one of my favorite professional scents. It's going to be Prada, not Lom, but Amber Pour Homme. I'll say it straight up, I think this is better than Prada Lom. This is still powdery and soapy, the fragrance style that Prada is known for, but this is more warm, spicy, a little bit of sweetness, but you can still wear this all year round. This has better longevity than Prada Lom. This lasts 12 hours, and I think this has more character and complexity. The fourth fragrance I then recommend you get is your summer fragrance. You might be wondering, Omar, will winter fragrances be on this list? And technically they already are. 
in your date night and your later category of clubbing fragrances. Remember, these are your essential five. You can go for more specialized winter scents at a later point in time, but this is just my recommendation for now. A great affordable summer option is Tommy Hilfiger Cologne. The classic from the 90s, it's a very bright, clean, sharp, and handsome citrus fragrance that will remind you of those nostalgic 90s times. And even though I'm saying it's a summer fragrance, I still think you can use this all year round as a school scent if you're a younger guy. Or you spend a bit more and get the legendary Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense Pour Homme. One of those fragrances I always mention in every video now, a salty, sexy, oceanic musk fragrance that lasts eight hours, loud in this projection, and usually gets me a lot of compliments in that season. I'll stop right there. I go on too much about this fragrance already as it is. And finally, clubbing or partying fragrances. I've left this category for last because these days we're in a pandemic, so you might not use these as much as usual. But hey, regardless, it's still worth having this type of fragrance. If you want something that'll put you into a fun mood, wear one of these two. For an affordable option, go for Rassasi's Dar Edge. A really good fragrance for 20 pounds. It's a clone of the discontinued Valentino V. This is a floral, sweet, and spicy fragrance that kind of has a playful playboy vibe to it. So it's perfect for going into the clubs going out and partying. When you want to feel fun and sexy, go for this. Good performance of eight hours with loud projection. And of course, I'm going to recommend Versace Eros. Spend a bit more, you get the king of clubbing. These days it is becoming increasingly more common, but it's a great fragrance in general to even wear just casually. Starts off with a nice fresh combo of apple and mint, and then dries down to a lot of vanilla. It's not a complex fragrance, but it's mass appealing, safe, super sexy. It has been reformulated, but I still get eight hours with a loud projection. And that concludes the video, guys. These are what I think you should start off with to have a strong foundation to your collection. What are your thoughts? What do you think of the system that I've devised? We currently do a fragrance advice service where we review your collection and help you choose the right fragrances in order for you to expand it. But that service will only be available until today at midnight. After that, we're gonna have to stop it due to time constraints and personal projects I'm gonna have to work on. I'm gonna go watch a new Attack on Titan episode. Let me go do that and then I'll see you in the next video Video where I show you how to apply a fragrance and make it last longer. Class dismissed.